Twilight fans are rejoicing as Breaking Dawn Part 1 hits theaters today, or should I say last night. And one of the film's stars, Robert Pattinson, he's ready to talk about the elephant in the room. We should somehow involve an elephant into this press <laughs> <moment. laughs> I, Ed of Cullen, take you, Bella Swan. For better or for worse. It's an elephant-sized wedding in Hollywood standards as 25-year-old Robert Pattinson is part of one of the biggest weddings of the year. In Twilight Breaking Dawn, his vampire Edward Cullen finally marries Kristen Stewart's Bella Swan. And as the groom, he wasn't as nervous as his co-star. I think Kristen was way more nervous about it than I was. I mean, because I, I got to just hang out like, with everyone. And we had the entire cast from the first movie, and everyone mm -hmm. was just sitting in the, in the uh, benches around, and we were just kind of talking to each other. And Kristen wasn't allowed, for one thing, to sit down in her dress. <laughs> she also wasn't allowed out of the house because there's paparazzi everywhere. <laughs> and so her thing was just incredibly stressful. Did you see yourself having one of those big kind of weddings, or are you that kind of dude, if you ever got married? Or are you a married kind of guy? I mean, you really notice it in this as well, especially pretending to do it. Mm. It's so much the bride's day. Hey. Like, it's nothing to do with the groom. You're <laughs> yeah. just kind of, you're a prop. How many days has it been since the wedding? Fourteen, why? Can you tell me what's going on? I'm, I'm late. What's the things you love about I him most? And maybe there's some things that you would change about him, if you would change anything about him. He's kind of com ex extremely confident, and I'm kind of envious of his uh, sort of tortured backstory as well, like kind of growing up in, like, middle-class London, like, a kind of very boring life. <laughs> like, let's say, like, oh, I killed 30 people 100 years ago. Like, I mean, that'd be kind of great. But um, I don't know. This, this was the only one where I was kind of... I got irritated by Edward's behavior when uh, just allowing Jacob to kind of consistently come into Bella's life. I was like, hey, Edward, you've got to step up for, for a second. You've got to kind of be a man here. Stop trying to avoid confrontation. I know Twilight fans are excited. I think this will be the number one movie. It's easy to say. I know Happy Feet 2 opens as well this weekend, so we'll see which one wins. Uh, it is in theaters. If you like that kind of movie, <laughs> I suggest you go and, and have a good time. what kind of movie would that be? A chick flick, perhaps? The one that makes you go, <gasps> Oh. Yeah. They were talking about this in the, in the newsroom <laughs> yesterday, and, and Lee was like, pretty much, I felt I was going to gag. Yep. And the, yep. the Julia, our, our executive producer, goes, oh, but it was wonderful, the, the wedding. The, so definitely a movie for, as she yeah. says, for, for teenage girls. Well, it's kind of like all you women in the newsroom when a baby's brought into the newsroom. Yeah, yeah, we all go crazy. Let me hold yeah. her, let me hold yeah. her. Yeah. Men are like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're all like, give me the hand sanitizer. Yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. Good. But nice wedding scene. Did they know that they were acting, by the way? You know, he said that she was so nervous and. Yeah. It's a movie. Yeah, it was a zoo, though, because they couldn't show her dress, but there were multiple helicopters around. They had to cover up with a sack just to get her to the set oh so people couldn't God. get pictures. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's a movie.